Snake Facts Snakes are often maligned for their sharp fangs and toxic venom, but these slithering reptiles are exceptional examples of adaptability, elegance, and diversity. Snakes have long played an important role in many cultures, with some societies worshipping them while others feared them. But while some snakes are very dangerous, most have no interest and no ability in causing harm. Snakes come in all shapes and sizes. Some are as thin as a noodle, while others as long as a giraffe is tall and can gulp entire pigs whole. Their unique skins have evolved into either smooth or coarse scales depending on species, flaunting all the colors of the rainbow and a truly mesmerizing array of patterns. Snakes have evolved to live in all sorts of habitats, from the land to the sea, and can be found all around the globe. Slithery Snake Facts They may not have legs, but snakes can still move very quickly. Black mambas can slither at speeds up to 19 kilometers per hour, while sidewinder rattlesnakes can reach speeds of up to 29 kilometers per hour. Serpents can smell in stereo, thanks to their forked tongues that they use to collect chemicals from the environment. Some vipers also have pit holes, small openings on their faces that sense heat the same way we sense colors, basically providing them heat vision. A snake's scales aren't separate pieces of their outer body, but are one single piece of skin folded several times. Serpents don't chew, rather they swallow their prey whole. Some species can consume animals as large as an alligator. Of all the 4,000 plus snake species in the world, only around 600 are venomous and roughly 200 are toxic enough to hurt humans. How did snake lose limbs? This is still hotly debated among experts. Snakes are thought to have emerged 170 million years ago and then lost their legs in what scientists have called one of the most dramatic transformations in the evolutionary history of vertebrates. Genetic research suggests the original snake ancestor was something like a long, lanky predator lizard with tiny back legs and even toes. This creature lived in the warm forests of Laurasia, the continent that split into today's North America, Greenland, Europe, and Asia. The oldest official fossil records we have of ancient snakes date from 167 million years ago and were found in the UK, Portugal, and the US. However, no snake fossils have been found from the era between 140 and 100 million years ago, and genetic data shows they experienced a boom in diversification around 125 million years ago, so the jury is still out on when exactly snakes fully lost their limbs. The fossil record shows us that Najash Rio Negrina, an Argentinian snake from around 92 million years ago, still had limbs. But Dinelicia patagonica, a snake from more or less the same period, 85 million years ago, did not. Today, some snakes technically still have legs. Boas and pythons still have small remnant leg bones buried under their muscle. How many types of snake are there? There are more than 4,000 species of snakes, which are split into two main categories, worm-like snakes and true snakes. There are over 30 different families of snakes, each with its own unique characteristics. For example, boas and pythons are constrictors. Vipers, such as rattlesnakes and elapids, including cobras and mambas, are venomous. And colubrids, including tree snakes, are predators that don't tend to use venom. Where do snakes live? Snakes can live on land and in water and can be found almost everywhere in the world, except for Antarctica and islands, including Ireland, Iceland, and Greenland, as well as many Atlantic and Pacific islands. That isn't to say that all islands don't have snakes, however. The tiny Brazilian island of Ilha da Queimada Grande, for instance, has a snake for every square meter of land and the highest concentration of venomous snakes on the planet. These reptiles have adapted to all sorts of habitats. Some make their homes in misty rainforests and tropical jungles, others in the dunes of the desert, and swamps, cities, grasslands, pastures, and mountains. They can live underground or in trees, and may call both freshwater and saltwater home. Most snake species, however, live in warm tropical climates. Are snakes cold-blooded? 
Yes, snakes, like all reptiles, are cold-blooded. This means their metabolism cannot generate the heat needed to keep their bodies warm and regulate their temperature, so they have to get their warmth from their surrounding environment. This is why cold-blooded animals struggle to survive in cold climes and go dormant and take refuge for long periods during winter. How long can a snake get? Snakes may come in one main shape, but they can come in all sorts of sizes. 